But right now we're stepping into our own outside garden looking all green and lush and beautiful. But something that you will probably find in your own garden at home are snails and slugs. And Ben Getz from Urban Harvest joins us this morning just to give us the rundown on these slimy little creatures and, you know, to talk to us about that debate. Are they good? Are they bad? Do you want them in your garden? Don't you? What's the deal? Ben, nice to have you with us. Great to be now, here. First of all, slugs and snails. They are different. They same species, but different. How are they different exactly? Well, the answer is basically the obvious answer. Snails have a shell and slugs don't, okay. um, which does affect uh, uh, how you find them because the slugs are obviously a little bit smaller, yeah. although they can get big, they're also more maneuverable. So that's yeah. really the only difference. They, okay. they kind of, they're able to squeeze into smaller spaces, which of course a snail with a shell on the back can't do. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, you can find them in huge numbers in your garden. Absolutely. Now, first of all, where about, in which areas, are there specific areas that you can find them in your garden or that you should look out for them? Well, with all pests, the first thing to do is check under the leaves. Yeah. So if you kind of like go into the garden, oh, there's no snails, you're not yeah. doing your job. They're You've sneaky. kind of actually got to look under the leaves um, and and that way you, okay. you're most likely to find them um, there's also certain plants that attract snails which by the way is one way of catching snails uh, it's called a catch crop so okay. for example nasturtiums um, are one crop that uh, tend to attract snails yeah. so actually planting them in the garden might attract them towards okay. the nasturtiums rather than yeah. your vegetables so that's one technique Okay, yeah. now there's, there's this debate going on. You know, are they good, are they bad? But from your professional opinion, what would you say? What do you think people should look out for? I think um, the first thing is to assess how serious the problem yeah. is. Uh, there may not really be a problem. If your garden's organic and you've got one or two snails uh, yeah. milling about, it's really not an issue. It's food for if you've got ducks or chickens or birds. Yeah. Um, look, if they're doing damage in the garden, then there's a problem. Yeah. And then, yes, they're bad in the garden. Yeah. But I mean, they don't pose an actual threat. They can, so, they can absolutely they? can. If the populations get uh, big, if you're not doing some of the methods we'll be talking about to kind of reduce the populations, they yeah. absolutely can be a problem. And then, of course, they are bad in the okay. garden. Um, but. Yeah, the it, point it is depends. don't freak out if there's one or two. <laughs> there will be yeah. one or two if you're not using uh, harmful chemicals in your garden. Okay, now yeah. talking, talking about harmful chemicals, I mean, mm -hmm. what are some of the ways that you can prevent it if you need to have those snails and slugs out of your garden? What can you do? Well, all of these approaches are natural and organic approaches, very yeah. simple. The, the first thing, um, are often the best answer is the simplest answer, and I would say the best way of getting rid of the snails is literally to use your eyes and your hands. Okay. It's, it's not necessary really yeah. fun but going through the garden spending some time with your plants if yeah. you see them take them off that's like step number one okay um, step number two would be something like this which is a kind of snail trap very Look simple it's yeah. literally just a terracotta pot leave it like this overnight so that the snails can and for whatever reason they will they'll yeah. congregate in here it's in like the a bigger shell Exactly, <laughs> and it's, it's a little home for them. So okay. in the morning, rather than checking all over the garden, which you should do anyway, yeah. um, a lot of them would have congregated inside. You can say hello and move them, yeah. move them along. So it's just a way of kind of getting them into one okay. space. Um, another one is, and these are various forms of mulch, essentially, things to cover the soil with. This is coffee grinds, oh, used wow. coffee grinds. Most yeah. households have plenty Indeed. of this. Um, it actually feeds the soil, so all you need to do is literally sprinkle it around the plants that seem to be most affected. Okay. Um, and, and it helps to keep them away. None of these are 100% are snail proof, yeah. but they do help to keep the populations too, down. Okay. okay. So that's your, um, your, your coffee. coffee. The other one is uh, eggshells. I've Another, heard about this one, yeah. They don't, they, they don't like sharp, kind of edgy surfaces. They like a smoother surface. So any kind of mulch, even for example, this milled yeah. bark mulch that we use in this garden, um, it, that would work. And then of course, eggshells yeah. um, add calcium and other micronutrients to the soil. So they're Brilliant. feeding the soil. Yeah, so it's um, a win-win kind of relationship there as well. Exactly. And okay. this one, um, which looks a little bit like biltong, is actually <laughs> shredded, uh, shredded seaweed. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. So it's great for people living at the coast, you know, as a, as a easy, cheap makeshift. And not only will it yeah. keep uh, the snail populations down, and partly that's because it's got salt in it, which can have some slightly negative effects on some plants, but it yeah. will actually benefit a lot of plants, a bit of salt. And more than that, it's, it's very rich in phosphorus and mm. potassium. So it's a great soil conditioner. Yeah. 
as well as um, a, a deterrent for, for snails. Yeah. Um, and those are just some of the ways. I love it. Ways. Brilliant. Yeah. Ben, thank you so much for joining us this morning and giving some great tips on how you could rid your garden of those slugs and snails. We're going to take a very quick ad break. Don't go anywhere.